Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I will be talking about five question marks for the Washington football team entering the 2021 NFL season. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. Also, make sure to follow my Twitter. It would help me out a ton. So let's get right into the video. All right, so overall, I think this is one of the best rosters the Washington football team has put together in a very long time. But with all of these rosters, uh, no matter how good they are, there are going to be some question marks uh, heading into the season. So we're going to be talking about that in today's video, go going over five question marks for the Washington football team heading in to the 2021 NFL season. And the first one, and I don't think really anyone knows the answer to this one and this is who is going to be the Washington football team's punt returner. I mean they don't have a clear guy on this roster and you could say punt returner and kick returner because you know they could keep Danny Johnson as their kick returner um, but I mean he also doesn't really have a clear path to the roster because he didn't play a single defensive snap last year um, when Ron was asked about um, his thoughts on Washington's punt return spot for 2021. He mentioned Steven Sims, Dax Milne, and DeAndre Carter. And none of those guys, again, have great shots of making the roster. Definitely not Steven Sims. Dax Milne definitely has a chance because was drafted this year. Could be one of their backup slot guys, especially if he turns out to be solid in the punt return game. DeAndre Carter, if we, if we kept him, he would only be a punt returner and kick returner and really wouldn't get many snaps um, elsewhere so that's something they got to think about they could have Adam Humphreys be their um, punt returner and keep Danny Johnson as a kick returner or they could just keep Danny Johnson and have him be their kick returner and be their punt returner because he took a few punts uh, last year and you know was all right not he didn't do much but uh, that's definitely better than what Steven Sims did so that is definitely a big question mark for the Washington football team heading into the 2021 season because last year this really killed them because Steven Sims had a few fumbles Isaiah Wright had a fumble and that really cost them you know a couple games last year so they gotta have it fixed heading into this season so the next one this is like an obvious one it's the you know who's going to be the quarterback but more importantly the quarterback play this year I mean uh, because I feel like if we have solid quarterback play this season you know we're going to be a 10 plus win team so a big question mark is how is Ryan Fitzpatrick going to play um, if he does get the starting job I think he's going to you know um, get the starting job early on but you know uh, this is what Ron Rivera said real quick. He said, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick has a job right now and it's his to have. I'm not going to say his to lose. I think that's the wrong way to look at things. It's his to have. We'll see, but I'm not going to discount Taylor Heineke. So those two are going to compete a little bit, you know, in training camp during the preseason. But at the end of the day, you know, looking at these comments right here, it, it looks like Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to be the starter and you know if he can play solid the Washington football team has a really good chance of winning this division because they have a good you know offense around them got a solid offensive line got you know solid receivers got a good running back core um, and they got a solid tight end one in Logan Thomas and they got a great defense so it's up to Ryan Fitzpatrick to put it all together and yes I think Fitzpatrick can play well for us but I'm not certain about it and it's still a question mark heading into the season um, and you know if he starts out slow would not be surprised if they put in Taylor Heineke um, to play a few games and you know see how he does um, we'll see though how these guys look in the preseason but that's a big question mark how are the Washington football team quarterbacks going to look this season and you know honestly adding on to it are they going to be able to stay healthy? Because these last few years, it's been awful. I mean, obviously 2018 with Colt McCoy, Alex Smith. Um, then you know the year, be, uh, you know the next year, you had uh, Colt, M Colt McCoy had an injury or so, and this past season, Kyle Allen and Alex Smith. So hopefully these guys can stay healthy. So the next question mark is 
who are going to be our starting safeties? I mean, I think we know Cameron Curl is going to be our starting strong safety. I hope so, at least. I mean, if Landon Collins is fully healthy, then it's a question mark. I still would really hope they would start Cameron Curl at strong safety and, you know, rotate uh, Landon Collins around, have him play, you know, that big nickel or the Buffalo nickel for them. And, you know, sometimes not a full-time role, but a few snaps here and there in the box, you know, somewhat like a linebacker. Um, and then, you know, come in for Cameron Curl if he needs a few plays off at strong safety. But, you know, that competition between Cameron Curl and Landon Collins, if Landon Collins is healthy, that's going to be something interesting to watch. And then also, who's going to be the starting free safety? Um, because they have a lot of different guys uh, that could be the starter. Bobby McCain, DeShazer Everett, Jeremy Reeves, those all those three could end up being their starter. And you could even throw in Derek Forrest as well if he looks really good in this position as a whole. You know, um, I have high expectations for Cameron Curl, and I think he's going to play well. But, you know, that free safety position, not only is it a question mark in the sense that we don't know who's going to be the free safety, but we don't know how they're going to play. Um, you know, let's hope that they can play, you know, at least like, you know, DeShazer Everett, um, and Jeremy Reese played in the you know second half of the season, which was a lot better than what we got in the first half with Troy Apke um, allowing all those big plays. Let's hope our safety play this year is improved, especially at the free safety position. Okay, so the next question mark for me, at least for the Washington football team, is who's going to be the starting left guard? I mean, there's three different guys that could be their starting left guard, at least in my opinion. Eric Flowers, Wes Schweitzer, or even Sadiq Charles. I mean, that is a very, you know, deep unit at left guard. All three of those guys could be starters on a lot of different teams, and it's going to be one of them. I mean, Sadiq Charles is obviously... Um, I mean, if he's healthy, that's the big thing with Sadiq Charles. We don't know if he's going to be healthy or not. If he's healthy, he's definitely going to be able to compete with Eric Flowers and uh, with Wes Schweitzer. Wes Schweitzer played pretty solid for the Washington football team last season, playing at the left guard and right guard position. Eric Flowers, you know, had an... He didn't have a great year last year with Miami, wasn't terrible, but wasn't great. But in 2019 with Washington, played pretty well. So the battle between those guys and even Sadiq Charles is going to be interesting, um, you know, to see who, get, you know, gets that left guard position. Because right now, we really have no clue. If I had to put some money on it, I might, you know, lean towards Wes Schweitzer just because he was here last year. Um, and, you know, the coaching staff has familiarity with him. Um, and he played pretty solid last year. But it's a coin flip, in my opinion. You could throw in Sadiq Charles in there as well. Uh, so that's a big question mark as well. I mean, you know, a little, another question mark, you know, kind of their depth at tackle isn't great. It's not bad. Um, especially if Cosby turns out to be good, then I think they'll definitely be fine at tackle. So the next... Um, you know, the last question mark I have is, you know, who's going to be their third defensive end? I mean, obviously, they got two great defensive ends in Montez Sweat and Chase Young. But after that, I mean, Casey Tuhill, James Smith-Williams, uh, William Bradley King, Shaka Tony, they need another guy, in my opinion, unless one of those four emerges in training camp and looks really, really good. If those guys look good, then that's great. But, you know, it shouldn't be an issue, in my opinion. You know, if Montez Sweat and Chase Young stay healthy for the whole season, then it's not really going to be an issue. But if Chase Young or Montez Sweat even miss one or two games, you're going to be trotting out there a seventh round pick as your starting edge rusher. And that's just, I just don't want that. To be the case so in, if I were the Washington football team I would go ahead and maybe sign a veteran defensive end out there there's a lot of them out there maybe just get someone uh, to help these young guys and if one of these uh, you know Chase Young or Montez Sweat get hurt you can plug them in there um, and I would do that unless one of these guys looks really really good in training camp because you don't want to rely on a seventh round pick if Chase Young or Montez Sweat get hurt. That's just my opinion though. Let me know down below in the comments what are your question marks for the Washington football team heading into the 2021 
NFL season. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace, guys.